j'ai mes oreilles. Oh, I can't hear anything. Telling you, being sick is not funny. <laughs> Bonjour everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today it's an exciting video because we are doing the I'm Cold Trend Makeup Look. I'm so excited about this look because this look is me in a nutshell. I love flushed cheeky look. I love a beaten lip as well and I love a very light delicate eye look. So this look is so my vibes and I'm so happy to finally come here and to share with you this look with new products though so I'm very excited about all these products and I've been blown away by the quality of this product. I have some Say Beauty, I have some Pat McGrath, I have some Victoria Beckham Beauty, I have quite a few products so I cannot wait to share them with you and to show you this look in every step of it but before jumping right into it if you are new to my channel hello my name is Baya I do everyday makeup for the everyday life so if you like everyday minimal makeup routine you are at the right place with the right person if that type of content sounds good to you i hope you will consider subscribing before you leave and if you like this wintery type of makeup flushed glowy but minimalist and natural give this video a big thumbs up it does help me a lot and help my channel to grow and now without further ado if you want to see all this product in action you know what to do just keep on watching <music> What the best time than just now to have a nice warm drink so please help yourself grab something to drink get yourself cozy let's just get started shall we cheers all right my lovelies so first thing first what i will be doing is to apply some primer and this one is the one i've been loving lately it's from ren and it's the perfect canvas primer the reason why i love this primer is because it's a great hybrid product actually because it's a skincare serum product and it's also a great primer it's gonna really hydrate my skin and with that colder month i will need some hydration as a base to really make my skin looks plump hydrated and this is what that primer gives me and also it has a lot of skin loving ingredients because it's a serum and it's gonna also make my makeup last longer so i really love this primer i always use it every time i have a chance to do so because it really makes a difference for my skin because it's also gonna perfect my base and make my skin looks flawless as well so i really like this primer anyway now i'm gonna go with my corrector because i really want that makeup to focus on my skin on my cheek actually and i don't want too much coverage when it comes to my base like my complexion product but also with my concealer because i really want my makeup to be as minimal as possible as bare as possible if i can say that so i'm gonna go with my favorite corrector which is from charlotte tilbury that i have in the shade medium 2 and i'm gonna apply a little bit here so it's gonna really help my dark circle to be less apparent and then that way i will be using less concealer so it's gonna be less product on my under eyes so it's gonna be less makeup -y. and i really love that because a little bit goes a long way and it really does do a great job of really minimizing the appearance of my dark circle you see so good I'm telling you my favorite corrector of time i love it then for my base, I didn't want to go for a foundation, as I said earlier, I really want my base to be minimal and less coverage as possible, but I still want my skin to be even out. I really want the overall of my skin to be flawless, to be perfected and even out. So I'm going to go for that skin tint. So it's the Summer Friday, it's the sheer skin tint that I have in the shade 4. And I love this product because as it says, it's a sheer skin tint, so it has really minimum coverage i would say sheer to light you definitely cannot build up this product it's gonna do an amazing job of evening out your skin tone and it's a clean product as well so it's gonna have a great skin loving ingredients as well such as hyaluronic acid so it's gonna hydrate your skin it's gonna also plump your skin and with that weather that winter is coming because it's really cold outside and it's very dry so i need all the hydration i can have and I want my skin to feel hydrated all day long. And this does a great job of, you know, perfecting my base without doing too much. And it's really like my skin but better kind of situation. And this is what I want for that look because I really want that I'm cold makeup look 
to be focused on the cheek since it's the cheek that's gonna be the most stand out for this look and there you go it's quick it's easy and my skin looks really nice hydrated even you know you have that little bit of a glowiness from within which i like and it looks healthy that's all i want for my concealer i'm gonna go for cosas because it's an eye cream and concealer at the same time so it's gonna also hydrate my under eye which i have a dehydrated under eye with fine lines and i really like this concealer because it does have a medium coverage there's not too much i don't really use much of it but it's just to even out again some part of my face that needs to be a little bit more even out how many times am i gonna say even out <laughs> so it's a great concealer as i said it is very hydrating very creamy i love the undertone of this concealer because it has a yellow undertone so it's gonna make my under eye looks natural and not too brightened not too off you see really really pretty it does have a funky smell though and that smell started like after a week or two of using it so it's not like it's been expired it's just the smell of it it's funky but the product itself is amazing and you see now my base looks flawless looks even out looks hydrated healthy glowy from within i really like that there you go love that now i was about to skip the bronzer part i have to say because i really wanted to focus on the cheek and the color of my cheek but i still want a little bit of warmth i still want a little bit of dimension so i'm gonna use a new product today i've never tried this brand before it's pearl beauty the brand is founded by uh, elena perch i believe but i'm sure i'm butching her name so i'm gonna write it on the skin she's a beauty influencer she has a beauty channel that i love she has a also an instagram account so you can follow her you can also check her channel down below i will leave her link for her but she uh, came out with her own brand about a year ago and i've been wanting to try her brand so i picked up few things from her brand i picked up that bronzer and i picked up a couple of blushes as well but for today's video i'm gonna use that bronzer for the very first time so it's a core for bronzer cream i believe and i have it in the shade light too so for being a light shade it looks like a medium under shade let's see yeah beautiful warm golden undertone i really like that so we're gonna try this i'm gonna use a little bit of it as i said i really want to focus on the cheek so i'm just gonna warm up my face a little bit with it so it is a clean beauty brand as well she really wanted her product to be clean with safe ingredient it's also cruelty free and vegan i believe yes so it's a great brand overall and I'm very excited about her products. She did come out with a few other things since she launched her brand. So I'm very excited. This is very natural and I like that because it doesn't do much. And as you can see, it does give some dimension when I turn my face. So it gives a bit of dimension and it's not too much and it stays very, very natural. I like that. I was afraid it was going to be too much for what I was going for, but it's actually perfect even for a no makeup makeup this is the perfect bronzer because it's just like a balmy kind of yeah it's very balmy and it's very creamy so it's very nice on the skin it looks very natural very easy to blend as well i really like that yes so i'm very very happy about how it looks on the skin see it's very natural and you can actually pile up a little bit the color and it's still not doing too much but it still gives me the dimension i'm looking for so very happy about that and you see instantly it gives some warmth so it gives a bit of a life to my skin a bit of dimension a bit of structure without doing too much yes beautiful product i cannot wait to keep using it and also feature the blushes i got from the brand and i love the packaging so stay tuned for that because the blushes are coming soon on these upcoming videos now for the star of the show the cream blush and it's from say beauty i love the cream blushes i have already two shades from the line i have rosy which is a peachy pink 
everyday shade and I have also spicy which is my all-time favorite autumnal shade that I've been using all the time like all the time every time I want to do my makeup I want to use the spicy shade because it's so beautiful and I have featured that shade in previous videos so I will leave some link above so you can check it out but today's video we are trying a new brand color and it's the shade chili which is the perfect perfect color for winter look at this very pink shade I mean come on it couldn't be more accurate for this type of look like being cold this is the type of color I have on my cheek when naturally I am cold from outside so I'm gonna add some on my cheek like that I'm gonna be quite generous because the look of it you have to be generous with the with the blush so blush placement it's actually what I do usually so it's on my cheek on my nose a bit of my temple and on my chin I'm not gonna put some cream on it I'm gonna just use what's left on my brush later on and I'm gonna apply a little bit on my chin but for now this is the blush placement for this look and this is actually if you've seen my previous video that's the blush placement I always do in general all year around but that color I'm gonna swatch it for you quickly and see how beautiful this is oh look at this this is the blush with the Dove applicator that is very great for applying blush and this is the shade look at this pink cool undertone shade very pretty and has that dewy finish so it's like very healthy looking on the cheek as well let's blend this baby and that's pretty this is really the shade I needed for that look and as you saw on my picture when I was flushed and cold <laughs> from outside naturally with no makeup on it looks really similar my cheek was flushed and it was that kind of color so it was a little bit reddish but this is really the vibe here this is really the vibe, I love that. When I heard about that trend that was going on, I was like, oh yes, this is me. This is my vibe. I always love blushes and I always been very generous when applying them on my cheek. And if you've seen some of my previous video, you know I can go overboard <laughs> with blushes and it can tend to look a little bit too much. But for that look, you are allowed to be very generous. You can even apply more if you want to, but I'm gonna stay as it is because I'm gonna apply a bit of a powder blush as well, so I don't want to do too much. And the powder blush will really help my cream blush to last even longer, but I really like that. Beautiful. I'm telling you, this blush is the blush, the chilly shade for the I'm Cold makeup look. Now, I'm gonna add some new blush from Pat McGrath so during the Black Friday sale I did pick up this blush it's in the shade Nafet and when I saw the shade I was like oh that is a beautiful shade so the packaging is like so very very pretty you know Pat McGrath and that's the shade Nafet and I thought this blush shade will be perfect for this look because it is really similar of the chili shade but in a powder form you see and it has that satin finish as well so it's gonna also add some luminosity to my cheek so it's gonna give that extra glowiness as well which i love without using any highlight you have that healthy looking glow going on with that look and i thought these two together will be perfect so let's apply nafet on my cheek so here's the swatch of nafet which is a very pretty pinky nude with a bit of a cooler undertone so let's see that's pigmented again Pat McGrath is not playing when it comes to her blushes but this looks so much matchy I'm telling you this is the same color but in a powder form oh I love that so it really makes the look even more pronounced with that I'm cold makeup look the cheek looks insanely flushed as I am naturally when it's cold outside. I mean, you've seen the picture. I'm very flushed when I'm cold. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Look at that shine. It is gorgeous. I don't need any highlighter. This does it all. It's just stunning. 
I'm so glad I picked this color. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. That Nafet shade is is beautiful. <laughs> now I'm going to add a bit of a warmth again. I'm going to use a bronzer from Rodial. I love this bronzer because it looks so natural on the skin. It does also very perfect my skin and it has that sun kiss glow as well. It enhances my natural beauty. So I really like this bronzer and plus it has a mid-tone color so it's not too much it's very natural as you can see we barely see it but it's gonna just set my cream bronzer and give that extra dimension and enhancing my natural features and as you can see i can be generous and there's barely nothing on the brush but it still somehow will do the job by sculpting my face without feeling i have bronzer on it it's just magic i love it and it really does perfect also my base and it gives that thing that is missing which is really sealing the deal with my face structure I really like this bronzer, it's such a nice bronzer as I said it's like a mid-tone bronzer so it's very natural it doesn't do, it doesn't look too much but it does a great job of enhancing your natural features love this bronzer as well it's the perfect everyday bronzer even though you want a no makeup makeup look this bronzer will do just fine by looking great on your skin and yeah it just make everything looks better i feel like i love it now i'm gonna set my under eye anti zone i'm gonna use my powder from charlotte tilbury in the shade medium 2 it is a bit tinted it's gonna help to tone down a little bit the blush here where I have my under eye so it's not too crazy and at the same time because that powder is great of blurring as well and perfecting the skin it's gonna also like blur my pores and smooth my fine lines I really like this powder but I feel like everyone loves this powder all right so that's the complexion done and I really like how it turns out now for the eyes we're gonna be very minimal as well I'm gonna start with that Victoria Beckham eyeshadow brick that I have in the shade Tweed it's a beautiful turtle shell packaging that I really love I did talk about it and featured that palette in previous videos so I will leave a link right there if you want to check it out but for today's look we're gonna stay with that camel brownie shade for my crease just to give a bit of dimension and to bring a bit of warmth as well and it's gonna be it those shades are not fully matte they have that satin finish as well so they look matte but they are not fully matte but they are really really nice and it's just gonna give a bit of dimension I really love this palette it's the perfect everyday perfect fall as well fall winter palette and the packaging is everything shadows are very pigmented very blendable I mean this is a stunning palette I have to say pricey but stunning just that then to add a little bit of this snow wintery effect on the lid I have this new product from Victoria Beckham so when they were having that Black Friday steal I did pick up few things or I have to say a lot of things because I placed two different orders so that says a lot so definitely I will be featuring all this product very soon on my channel stay tuned for that but for now I'm gonna be trying out the crystal infused eyeshadow pot in the shade chiffon it's the lid luster so it looks like so it's a beautiful packaging with the same patterns beautiful that chiffon shade spoke to me because it was the perfect shade for any festivity look i wanted to do for the end of the year and look at this it has crystal infused and that shade is just stunning look at that wow that is going to be perfect for that I'm called makeup look look at this the perfect icy snow shade has some glitter but this is like the glitter grown-up version of it it's beautiful so I'm gonna play a little bit with my fingers with this type of look I like to use my finger oh yes that is stunning I feel with your fingers you get the most payoff and you don't get all the glitter you know falling down as well because of the pressure of your finger it stays on the lid and this is very 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 pretty this is the perfect 
icy wintery shade for this look just a little bit goes a long way don't need much that's stunning that chiffon is beautiful i'm gonna take back that brick eyeshadow palette right here i'm gonna use the same color the camel brown shade and i'm gonna apply a little bit on my lower lash line just again to give some dimension and to seal the look there you go and what i will do i'm gonna use an angled brush i'm gonna use that dark chocolate shade right here and i'm gonna just do a little wing but just a little wing you know to make it a little bit more I don't know, more interesting. It's not too much, but it makes a bit of a difference, you know, for the look. I'm gonna do the same thing in the other side. Just want a little something, something with your eye look. I like that, very nice, very pretty elegant yes like that little winged liner i really like it then i'm gonna use a nude liner from rimmel which is one of my favorite i'm gonna just do my waterline just to open up the eyes and i'm also gonna use it in my inner corner to brighten the inner corner i like to do that with this liner very appropriate for the look because it looks like ice and I like to brighten the inner corner because this is where the darkness is and it opens your eyes, it really makes the look more fresh, you know, more awake and plus it gives that little, when you put it in the inner corner like so, it really makes the look more wintry, more snowy, more appropriate, I feel like, so I really like that. Then for my mascara, no big surprise here, I'm gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara in black, I really love this mascara now i don't really introduce it anymore you know my love for this mascara what i like about it is like it really gives my lashes more strength more volume and you really separate them as well so it really gives that va -va -voom effect and i don't wear any false lashes so for me it's a great alternative to have that look i mean i really like it it's pretty and I'm also gonna use it on my lower lash line because I use a nude eyeliner so I want my lashes to be a little bit more black to make that contrast this mascara is stunning and for my brow again it's another surprise here it's the NYX brow gel mascara thick it stick it in the shade espresso again i'm not introduced this one anymore because i use it all the time for my brow it's a great gel mascara that is going to really make my brow a little bit more bushy because it has fiber all right really like this I'm telling you, I really like this drugstore brow gel mascara. One of the best in my opinion. It really does make my brow look bushy and full and nice. Love, 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 love. Now for the lips. This is exciting because I have a new product from Victoria Beckham as well, right here. But I was hesitating because I really wanted to use my Dior Lip Glow in the shade Matte Raspberry, which is a go-to for me. I mean, this is the matte raspberry shade. It is a beautiful, beautiful shade for winter. See, it is a lip balm, so it's gonna really hydrate and nourish your lips, but it's gonna give you that tint. And it's the perfect wintery shade for me because it's such a natural, your lips but better in a way that it's flushed as well because we always, when it's cold and when it's winter, we tend to bite our lip at least i do and i do have this kind of color when my lips is a little bit beaten but i really love this i'm almost out of it as you can see this is the only product left so i always go through them all the time i always repurchase them if it's not that shade it's always another shade so i always have one in my collection so i wanted to use this one but i was like no i'm gonna try i'm gonna try the victoria Beckham because i picked up few lip products during the black friday sale and i really wanted to use uh, one of her lip stain product for this look it would be perfect because usually 
again when it's cold outside and we bite a little bit our lips we have a bit of a stain we have a bit of a color i wanted to reproduce that type of effect with that lip stain and i also have a lip liner and a lip gloss so we'll see how it goes so this is the lip liner it's a beautiful packaging black with gold accent writing so it is the lip definer in the shade 04 so that's that beautiful brown shade and i really wanted a brown everyday shade and this one looks can i see something <laughs> no i can't there you go this is that very everyday brown lip contour shade for me so i really like it so i'm gonna apply this first it is very pigmented just fill in a little bit here I'm gonna also use my finger to blur a little bit the line because again we want that look to be quite natural and we want our lips to look beaten you see now it's better it's less structured and it's more blurry for the look I'm going for this is perfect because we tend to always also you know like suck in our lips inside so we always have a bit of a redness here i don't know about you but for me always so this really represents that you see that little redness here this is exactly how my lips looks when it's cold outside and i've been beating them perfect i really like the texture of it it's quite creamy it's not too hard to use and it looks very very long lasting as well you know it doesn't really come off easily which i like now for the lip stain it's the beaten lip tint not stain <laughs> and i got the shade sherry sherry in english means darling honey you know you choose so this is the packaging it very heavy so this is very luxurious as well again the same turtle shell pattern which i love beautiful packaging and then this is how the lip tint look and I wanted that shade because it really reminds me of a lip beaten. It's more like a reddish and it has that glossiness as a finish, but it's not glossy. It's gonna leave a stain and I wanted something like that. I'm very excited. So let's try this product. Oh yeah, it's very, it feels cooling. Oh yeah, my kind of shade. It is more deeper than I thought, which is good. It's very pretty. But it's so... When I rub my lips together, it's very creamy. It's not like dry. I really like the color. It's very, very pretty. Very nice. Really like that. So I was debating between leave it as it is, like as a matte satin finish, which is usually what we do have in the winter month, like when it's cold outside, we don't have really a glossy lips going on. It's more like dry out a little bit and stained with our beaten lips. But, but when I got that lip gloss, I got it actually free. When we were placing an order over 100 pounds, 100 euros or 100 dollars on during the Black Friday, you got that lip gloss for free. And I got the Posh Gloss in the shade Ice, which I feel like the name is filling the tin here, Ice perfect it's actually a translucent yeah translucent lip gloss so and now i can feel the it's drying down oh i love that look at this should we try oh nothing nothing comes off really yeah no nothing comes off i love that and it's exactly the way how my lips looks when i'm cold outside it has that flushiness around and a bit of that beaten lips oh my god i love it oh my god i love it this is going to be like my everyday lip for sure because like before leaving the house with no makeup on i will throw that on my lips and i will be out the door and my lips will look like this flushed beaten but natural oh my god i love it but i was wondering if i will use the lip gloss on top of it just to give that juiciness so i wanted to show you first how it looks matte version of it and now we're gonna try with the lip gloss as you can see it's a clear lip gloss i did buy another lip gloss though in the shade tan line which i'm gonna feature soon but for now lip gloss doesn't even come here doesn't stain the applicator 
Just want to use a little bit. Yeah, so good. A little bit here. I really like it with the lip gloss too. Oh yeah, I really like it because it really gives you that it's very glossy but very balmy at the same time. It feels hydrated, it feels like your lips looks feels good, you know. Let me know in the comment below how do you find that lip combo. But I feel like it's perfect for this type of look because it is more like a wintery look. This is my vibes. I love it so much. What I will do next, and it's gonna be the last step, is to set my face with Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, which is my fave, because I want that makeup to last all day. And there you go, guys. That's the final makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this look. This is such a makeup trend that is my vibes. That I mean, I wear this all the time. I love that chic, flushed look. I love that little eye going on. It's very delicate, but at the same time chic. It gives that little something, something to the look. That lip combo here, obsessed. I'm just loving the look. The lip stain is beautiful, but also that lip gloss is very comfortable. It's not sticky. It's hydrating. I mean, it's so good on the lips. I feel so good. I don't feel dry out. It's just amazing. Loving the look overall. This is so me every day. I'm like that. <laughs> I wish though. <laughs> but I don't wear makeup every day. When I'm out and about and it's cold, I have flushed cheeks. So this is me every day without the rest of the makeup. I love this makeup. I love this complexion product. It's very minimalist. It's very easy. It's such for me an everyday makeup that I love and I'm all for it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment below if you did try those products. I would love to know. I really do love this look, how it came out. Let me know if you did like it. And if it's the case, don't hesitate to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me a lot. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave. I would love for you to join our YouTube family and to see you again in my next video. Thank you for spending this time with me today. It does mean a lot to me. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Until then, stay beautiful. Mm.